Can you say hi? Hi, hi, hi. What's up, Saftronaut? Can you say hi? Hello, hello, hello. So my family is visiting this weekend, except for Nick because he couldn't come. Just me and my butthead. <laughs> and I have to leave today because I have two rehearsals. I thought that I would film me and Gabby doing our skincare. Our skincare. Gobble, so, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Ah. And then ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah? Teeth, brush teeth time. Brush teeth. What's wrong? What? Put them inside? Okay. You can do it. You're a big boy. Ready, Gibbs? Here. Take your toothbrush. Hey. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to get emotional, Gabriel. Emotional. Emotional. I know. All right, brush your teeth. I'm gonna talk to the astronauts for a second. Brush your teeth, brush them teeth. I don't wanna leave, yeah. I know Nick made a video of like, the experience of like, balancing social life with also wanting to be with the family and Gabriel specifically. And I have to say like, that's definitely a collective feeling among like all of us. This semester, so I'm in my senior year at college. It's definitely a very weird, feeling you know it's a lot of like last things so like it's, it was my last fall semester my last fall break this is the point of the trip when like i start getting a little sad sometimes i'm better at it sometimes like i'm composed and i'm like ready to go back because i know what i have to do and um i know i'm gonna see them again soon but this semester has been very interesting <laughs> every single time that like my family has left i've cried which hasn't happened for like a year and i think being a senior has made this semester and this year a little more sentimental and emotional, but also just like a tiny bit draining. I'm really grateful that I've got, I have a lot of like opportunities at school to perform and be a part of a bunch of organizations, but I also feel very overwhelmed a lot of the time and balancing that and being away from my family who has always been like my rock so it's really hard not being with them sometimes, especially like when I FaceTime and sometimes Gabriel will like intercept the call and will answer from his iPad when I call my mom. I love it, I love when he does that, it's so cute. Even just seeing his face, like it lights up and it immediately makes me sad because I miss him like crazy. You know, he's m my best friend. Not getting to see him every day or you know, just like, I uh, randomly go cuddle with him and have him push me away because he doesn't want to be cuddled at that point. <laughs> you know, it's sad. A couple of weeks ago, I had um, a really hard time at school for like a week. It was after my family left for my fall break and I couldn't really stop crying, having a lot of anxiety. And I was calling them like three or four times a day. Very much just felt like I needed my family. Want to sit with me? My jacket, <laughs> butthead. <laughs> Wanna be in the video with me? Gobble, 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 I know you, I know. But it's like not having this consistent um, base for me when I'm away is really, really hard. You know, it reminds me that I have something to be really grateful for. I have something that makes me want to be home. I have a family that I genuinely well, just want to spend as much time with as I can. I have this guy. And Gabe is like really intuitive too. Um, so when I was having a hard time, like he, I don't know, sometimes I like look at him and I try to see if he can understand what I'm thinking, like a twin telepathy thing. So Gabe, look at me. So right now I'm thinking I love you and I'm hoping that Gabe will get the message. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like uh, when I was younger, 
anytime I would go out to see friends or even play outside on my street, I would always like feel so, so guilty because I didn't want to leave Gabe. It's hard because of course you want him to be a part of everything, but also sometimes he can't. And I don't know, it's, it's so hard having to leave. Sometimes I just really need them being away at school. Even though it's only a two hour drive, it makes it difficult. With Gabriel specifically, he's just, he's someone that, that makes me feel safe just by being there. Maybe it's a twin thing, I don't know, but sometimes I want to think that he can tell if I'm not okay, if I need him or just need comfort, because I think I can tell when he's not okay. Um, and I'd like to think that he can think the same for me. Now that I'm in my senior year, I know that once I graduate, everything's gonna start picking up and I'm gonna have to start being even more of an adult. And, you know, Nick's already in that adult phase, but both of us eventually are gonna have to, not have to, but we're gonna move out and have lives of our own and family. And we, Nick and I always talk about like how to how we are going to balance also having Gabriel there and like I always make a joke being like Uncle Gabe's going to have a whole floor to himself in my house and balancing where Gabriel's going to stay and wanting him to be a pivotal part of our lives and eventually our like family's lives and like also knowing that Nick and I both want careers that are in the arts and how that takes so much time and dedication that we're really, we of course want to give but also knowing that the experience of seeing Gabriel every day and having him there and him knowing that we're always there is gonna change and that's something that I've been thinking about a lot. It's super scary because I never want Gabriel to feel like we're not there, that he's alone and he probably won't feel that way but that's the fear that I feel and I know Nick feels it too. It's such a hard feeling because you want him there all the time but sometimes you also want things that are gonna be like just for you too now i'm getting emotional so i don't <laughs> sometimes just feel really sad that i'm not at home with him i also sometimes feel really sad that like he is not gonna have that college experience or the experience of going out into the world in the same way that nick and i are going to he's gonna do it in his own way and he's already doing it in his own way because he's spreading joy throughout the universe sometimes I wish that he would be able to have certain experiences but I would never change Gabriel at all I was talking to my roommates about this actually the other day I was trying to think of what Gabriel would be like if he didn't have a disability I didn't think of anything because I only know Gabriel as he is and the way he is is how I love him I would maybe change opportunity for him to experience certain things but I would never change him he's Gabriel Sometimes also I feel guilty getting to experience things that he can't experience. But I know that he full-heartedly enjoys everything. Let's go find Gabe. Can't walk. I love you. <laughs> God. Hey. I'm gonna miss you when I go back to school. Two weeks. Okay? I love you. I love you. <laughs> we love you, Saftronauts. I love you.